News Channel. It's time. Any words? No, I just want to get it in the air. <laughs> okay, in the air. Last word. Got a crosswind. Not bad, though. Hopefully this goes up. You know, I'm hoping. I'm going to set it on high rates. Got my flaps on. I'm going to go. Surface check. <laughs> Dan, I can't even see it in the screen no more. Just pay attention. Did you put the gear up? No, I didn't concentrate on that. <laughs> yeah, Jesse, just, I see just it. try to get as much of a clean shot as you can. I'll try to bring it by again. I do know this, it does haul ass. And it would really haul ass if I had that gear up. Give Here's a, a nice, nice, slow, low, low pass. Give me a low pass. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, got it. Nice. Dude, I got it in the air. Yeah. It's flying great, huh? Where'd you trim it? Okay, I do know this. I have the. I'm gonna have to make a mix with my uh, with my flaps and my elevator. I don't have the mix in yet. What's it mean when there's no blinking of the light? It means you're not recording. <laughs> Just joking. <joking. laughs> okay, I'm gonna land, Jesse. All right. That flies great, dude. Yeah. You ought to be happy with that. I am happy. Oh, damn. You're fucking kidding me. It just dropped out of the sky. I hope I don't have damage. <laughs> oh. oh. It's dusted, man. It's busted up bad. It's jacked. Oh, my God. Yeah, that sucks. That was a lot of work. At least I got... I hope you got that shit on film. I did. There's the Viper Jet. Well, let's take a closer look at it. Let's get a little closer examination. You know, can it be... The question is, can it be repaired? Well, this wing's good. Realistically, this one right here is still good. So good there. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Carbon spar broke. You wouldn't think it because it didn't even hit that hard. No, it actually didn't, but look at it. Yeah. <coughs> Let me disconnect this. Oh man. Yes. Dude. No. Sorry, Dan. That's no, it's all right. That's all right. That shit happens. But, oh, dude, that's a lot of work I put into this to get to this, man. Mom. I'm back at my hangar. I'm going to take it, put you through the uh, inspection <clears throat> of this. So as you can see, um, it's pretty beat up. Nose is beat up. Now out there on the field, it looked just absolutely horrendous. Just absolutely. I was eyeballing this thing thinking, there is no way. I'm getting this fiberglass back together. You know I could take this to George Miller. Now this guy, this George Miller guy, he's a he's actually very famous. He's not the famous guy that was flying that one plane in my uh, in the video that ran into the wires. That's not the guy. 
But uh, this guy is very famous. Um, was in the Star Wars movies, did the modeling for those, several different movies. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go see him and ask for an education and see if I can get an education out of him. Just have him show me how it is done. A lot of this is intact. A lot of this is okay. I mean, realistically, if it was just me, I could... Uh, you know, tack this back with some CA and then put some fiberglass on the inside and, uh, you know, have my Frankenstein scars to show damage and go from there. But hey, I got some luck. There is some good news on the horizon here. I was able to pull out the spar out of this wing. It broke off. The spar broke here. This thing did not take a big crash landing to, uh, to damage it. I mean, it just took very little. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to pull this wing off. I'm going to get another spar that's identical. and I'll put a pull of spar out. Get another identical spar. And then my wings, I'm all good there. My wings, the rest of my plane is in great shape. Everything works. It's just this. This front. I mean the nose. I'm talking about a buckle section here. It buckled. But um, I'm going to put this back together. And I'm going to fly it again. You're asking me, you're wondering, okay, what went wrong? Did your plane fail? Did your build screw up? No. Um, pilot error. Here's my mistake. This is what I did as far as a mistake is concerned, as far as bringing this in. Uh, of course, it was the Maiden. It was pretty far out, as you could see. And I put the flaps down. And when I put the flaps down, it slowed the plane, and I was unable to judge its speed. Since I wasn't used to the plane, I was unable to judge the speed to determine whether or not it was going fast enough. By the time I realized that I'm losing it, and I go to punch it, it's too late. It just fell out of the sky. So I tip stalled. Um, if I was to do this all over again, if this was all new, and I was flying it right now, I would have a perfect maiden. I would know exactly what to do. The next time I fly this thing, I'm landing without flaps. I'm going to bring it in and land it without flaps and go from there. Um, this is going to fly again, and I'll see you there. Sorry to put you through the whole build and then have a disappointment, you know, due to my fault. And it is due to my fault, but. We're going to go up in the sky again. We're going to do this again, and I promise these videos are going to be shorter than they were as far as the build. We'll see you then. Bye.